two, one, action. Coming into this, did you expect at all this? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Christian and I were, were talking and at first I was ready to keep everything very simple. And then he said, well, I want to hear all your thoughts. And I said, but they're a little out there because I had this vision for Frozen in my mind for a while. And he said, no, no, whatever you're thinking, I want to hear it. We're going to do it. And so I told him what my vision was with the dancers and the demons and everything. And he was like, we're going to do it. No, I was like, really? really? He's like, yep. And <laughs> I was, to be honest with you, I was a little like skeptical because we hadn't worked together before. I wasn't sure what to expect. And then just, you know, as time went by, I kept seeing how organized he was and now he had it everything together and I was like okay and then showing up on set yesterday for shoot one was pretty crazy because everything was just so real and I thought wow this is exactly what I've been dreaming of doing my entire life this kind of performance where I could just show up be the artist do some fun acting dancing singing I mean this is my dream so I did not expect it at all awesome. nice little surprise and Three, two, one, action. Good take? Yeah. I got a mental block, baby. And I want you to call me crazy. Standing on the water, feeling sad. I do want you to say I have a disease. Won't you write it down for me? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> My next question for you is I know you said that you've had some good ex oh so I know you've said you've had uh, a ton of time in between the start when Christian first found you and then contacted you till today. What were you doing to prepare? Oh, good question. So yes, we were originally supposed to be shooting in March. And a few days before the shoot day, stay at home order came out. <laughs> oh. And we had already learned all the choreography and we had given our, like we had about a month to learn the choreography and we had learned it all and then all of a sudden we had to put everything on pause. So I was, I had faith but I was also a little concerned at first. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to remember the choreo for a really, up until whenever we are actually able to shoot this and we didn't even know when that would be. And so, what I did was I kind of at first I was marking it every so often but then I thought to myself you know what I have all my notes on video and fit video Angela prepared me really really well I know this routine really well so I thought okay I think the best thing to do at this point to keep it fresh when I finally record is to actually just put it aside for a bit and then once I'm closer to shoot day when I know when the shoot's gonna be then I'll, st I'll put in a few rehearsals, go over all my notes, make sure it's all fresh, um, and then be ready for shoot day. So that's actually what I did. I rented out a studio space, and then I just kind of, the first rehearsal, I just went over all my notes to make sure I, you know, I remembered all my notes, all my timing. And then I did one other rehearsal where I just performed it and focused on enjoying it and feeling it and being in the moment. So that is how I prepared up until shoot day. Awesome.
my hardest struggle to prepare for the video, 100% mm -hmm. was picking my wardrobe. <laughs> to me, that was really stressful. I've tried to pick out outfits for myself in the past, and I just didn't like how they looked like when people would take photos of me or if I was captured on camera. So to me, I just wanted to make sure I did a good job. So I spent days and days and days and days looking on Amazon, trying to figure out what's gonna look good on me, what I'm gonna like. I ordered so many different outfits and tried on so many different clothes and returned until I found things I liked, that I felt blended, that would work in all the scenes. Oh my gosh, it was so exhausting. There was a time where my apartment just looked like a big mess of orders from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on right now, Leah? We are in my very messy bed. We got yeah. to throw some some pizza around my bed on my bed. It's the one time it might actually be okay and yeah. excusable to have pizza and dirty laundry all over my bed. <laughs> yeah, we're having so much fun. Like actually, we just set it up. So basically, we just want to portray like in a state of depression where you could be like at your worst, but then. I don't want to reveal too much interpretation <laughs> for them. I want to yeah. leave it open to interpretation, but, but yeah, this but is yeah, fun. Yeah, so this one, this one here, yeah, just like, this is sad me, you know, weighed down in my bed. Basically, yeah. With some pineapple, which she actually oh doesn't gosh. eat pineapple. This is the weirdest <laughs> pizza in the world. Thanks to the director. <laughs> I love pineapple. I mean, sorry. I told like I wasn't really hungry, so I told him to order whatever he wants to eat because I'm not really going to eat it. I did eat a slice. Yeah. Who knew they made pizza with no tomato sauce? Yeah, and instead we got barbecue. Oh my but god. But me and John were probably going to enjoy it. You should have seen the faces I was making to John when I was like eating this pizza. I was like, and he's like, you like it, you're eating. And then John's like. He was like. I just laughed. I, I just laughed like, so hard. Did you see my face right now? <laughs> she was like, <laughs> I was like, it was not. It was not a good look, but it did the job. It was more than. It was more than enough. Yes. It is what it is. So yeah, we're just waiting for to dump some footage. We're gonna get back to it. It's flowing really well. We're pretty much. This is. We have like the last two scenes, and then we wrap up for the day. So we're really excited. It's gonna turn out really well. You guys have to stay tuned for the final video because it's gonna be amazing yeah Whatever. yeah we're just having a blast stay tuned favorite part of the shoot that uh made you uh strive to finish it i mean the whole thing the whole thing <laughs> like i was excited right yeah. so i mean every scene was something new right yeah day one was the dancing with all the dancers you know fighting my fighting the demons mm -hmm. that was you know I've been envisioning this for so long, so that was really exciting. Yeah. I got to play, you know, kind of like the dark Leah in the bridge, which was, you know, also super cool. Today was fun because I just got to do a whole bunch of improv. We messed up my bed. I got to just play around with the clothes and improvise and really get into it and have fun with the song. And same with, you know, my living room, mess it up. <laughs> um, and then even shoot some fun street scenes, you know. So today was really fun because I really enjoyed having the opportunity to do a lot of improvisation. So yeah, both really exciting, really cool stuff, uh, different stuff. And I'm really looking forward to having a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> or to Please. this morning. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> So I guess that's it. I guess that ends the night. It's a, it's a what? A wrap. A wrap, Ooh, yep. It's a wrap. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. I got a mental block, baby, and I want you to come.